pro biafra secessionist group the indigenous people of biafra ipop has reacted to the most recent jailbreak in just played two states saying the jailbreaks are tricks by the department of state services to prevent the transfer of its detained leader nam Kano, to a prison facility the group said the nigerian government and its secret police always use this scheme as an excuse to say the person the prison facilities were not safe so as to condemn Kano to the dss detention according to the group the nigerian government is behind many attacks on correctional centers hence it could not investigate the rates it also berated the dss operatives for condoning of the roads and premises of the courts when Kano appeared in court on October 21st, 2021. Why they allowed hoodlums to attack a human rights activist, Omoyele Shiwore, who was in court to show solidarity to Kano. Sahar reporters had reported that some gunmen suspected to be bandits attacked a prison facility in just on Sunday afternoon. Reacting, I in a statement by his spokesman, Ima Powerful, said the incidents and other previous jail breaks were antics of the federal government and its security agencies, particularly the Department of State Security. In a statement which was made available to Sahara reporters on Wednesday, the group stated that our intelligence reports and findings reveal that once there is any person of interest in the custody of the DSS that is scheduled to be transferred from their detention facility to prison custody they arrange these prison breaks in order to convince the courts that the prison is not safe and is susceptible to attacks and jail breaks and as such the said person in their custody should not be transferred to the prison it further noted which is why no meaningful investigation is ever carried out on this alleged prisons prison breaks throughout Nigeria in order to ascertain the actual perpetrators and bring them to book. The statement further read, This is further evidenced from what happened in the court on the 21st of October 2021 when the hearing of our leader Namde Kano's application for transfer to prison custody came up. The roads to the court and even the court premises were barricaded on all sides by security agents such that lawyers and other responsible persons who had legitimate business in the court could not even drive close to the court premises because they claimed that they had a security report that there would be an attack. Curiously, the attackers who were clearly government-sponsored thugs were allowed to drive past all the security posts mounted on the road and down to where the DSS officers formed a human barricade in order to attack Omoyele Shiwore. The DSS officers did not even do anything to stop or apprehend the attackers. On the contrary, they kept pushing Shiwore back and forth to the thugs. The same thing happened on the 10th November 2021 when they hired, when they hired the one Nigeria crooners who came to confront Mazen Namdekano's peaceful supporters who had always been there on the previous court days without constituting any nuisance or breach of peace these paid agents came with coffees and other things meant to provoke the peaceful supporters all in the bid to trigger a confrontation and fight between the two groups imagine what would have happened on those two occasions if mazi kano supporters did not have the spirit of discernment and avoided any confrontation with those paid agents of darkness. The DSS and the Federal Ministry of Justice should have told the court that Namde Kano peaceful supporters are capable of breaking him out of prison. These games are orchestrated by the federal government to discourage the court from transferring Oyendu from DSS custody to prison custody. We are therefore putting the word on notice of this evil game being played in a bid to ensure that Namde Kano is held in perpetuity in perpetuity in the DSS dungeon. <laughs> okay, uh, of course um
those are the tricks they've been using now we know all of that but recently there's an emergency hearing of his case tomorrow on thursday on thursday well i never see person we get a sense person in the book uh okay i hope and sense are like this <laughs> It should remain at the DSS facility if further notice really. I pray, please don't forget you are not on Radio Biafra where they believe anything you tell them without thinking twice. Now the kind of, is there true candidates and no amount of intimidation or ethnic chest beating will change that. <laughs> Somebody that is going to call tomorrow. Okay. Even J breaks during answers is to prevent Kano's transfer from DSS uh, to prison. This in those answers have been happening and they can still use it. It does not matter. Okay, please, oh, my fellow Biafra, we have talked and talked much since June and our Madike was kidnapped. We have been waiting, but we cannot wait any longer at all. Daniel was thrown in the den, den of lion. Later, he came out safely. Shedrach, Mishak, and Abegnigo was in the lake of fire, but fire didn't burn them. So shall it be for our leader, an Americano. Even when an Americano was talking about a F S men this uh, S men is gonna come uh, this and this and they say I beg you can sit down you don't know what they talk but you do we see they pay me pass BC eh? even when all those things don't happen now it don't happen all of us this year ah they could not even say oh this man talk come oh. this man talk come oh. was one of the same thing they were saying that they should guarantee is that just trying to divide the country but when the full army S men started their operation with full force everybody called quiet now they don't feel talk again oh. they can't even at least give honor to woman or is due Appreciate somebody who has told you. They didn't even do anything. Even this issue of uh, whether Jubilee or no Jubilee, even at the end of the day, if Nigeria gets to know, say it is true, what do they do? They will do nothing. They will do nothing. So people can say, hey, 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 what of this one? Hey, what of this one? What of this one? What of this one? Those are the tricks they've been using now. Those are the tricks they've been using. Then the question is that why is it that they are delaying the old processes? Apart from what we are just hearing today, that a, a an emergency uh, court case will be, you know, opened tomorrow for him. You begin to ask yourself, since June, are they, what are they investigating? Because this man has already done his press release. Malami has already done his press release. He has said he has done this. And again, he amended the charges. So are you going to tell us that uh, they are still investigating? What is there? They should just do whatever they want to do and let us know uh, 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 what next. If not that if there's something that the government is hiding, the DSS, all of them are hiding, what stops them? What stops them? Okay, what is now bringing about what is happening tomorrow that they want to quickly uh, uh, arrange for one to one so that it can be uh, released or to be granted on bail? Why? They know what they are doing now. Is it not a January? Was it not January uh, 22nd they put the uh, whatever for before now? So why they change? I beg you. Some people, uh, they will not learn. 